Data lineage is the history of how data is ingested, transformed, and stored within a data pipeline. This is powerful information that you can leverage to make informed decisions about your architecture. One simple way to gather this information would be to interview the data engineers across your pipeline and ask which data sources they read from, what they do with the data, and where the data goes next. Then you could map out a data flow diagram like this toy example. Data is pulled in from sources here into some stores like this data lake and this bucket, transformed by an ETL and loaded into a data warehouse. This is then used to populate a set of dashboards. One potential use case is risk modeling. For example, we could ask the question, what's affected if this store goes down? Following through the diagram, we see a knock-on effect through the data warehouse and onto this dashboard. Now, the obvious downside to collecting your lineage data via interviews is that it's expensive, time-consuming, error-prone, and out-of-date almost as soon as you're done collecting it. So maintaining it at a useful level of granularity would take an unreasonable amount of time. Clearly, we need to automate our data lineage. Some tools, such as dbt, offer static analysis of data pipelines. These pass queries to map the flow of data through a system. This requires that all data movement and transformation takes place within the tool. So if you were copying this CSV to this bucket outside the platform, it would be invisible to the analysis. Some platforms, such as Databricks, offer runtime automated lineage. These maintain a metadata store, which records links between services when processes move data. This works well for common use cases, but may not support niche operations. And again, any operations carried out off-platform will be lost. Another option is data tagging. If all data transformers in your architecture conform to some schema, then they can read in and extend data lineage metadata alongside transforming the data. So this ingest process could tag everything it ingests with the source system. Then this ETL could add further tags to show that it read data from this store, transformed it, and stored it in this data warehouse. This is handled automatically in services like Microsoft Purview, but could also be done manually noting that each transformer in the pipeline would need to update the metadata, which can be expensive to implement. However, this granular detail means that by the time we reach figures in this dashboard, we know exactly where each one came from and how it was processed. Now we have a granular up-to-date data lineage. Let's look at some other use cases. First, migration planning. Can I rename a table in the data warehouse? Our metadata tells us which teams would need to be informed and whether some data is completely unused. Next, compliance and provenance. How can we verify the source and correctness of this data? Being able to easily obtain a full list of data transformations applied is an auditor's dream. And this is especially important to our clients in highly regulated industries like health and finance. Finally, root cause analysis. Let's say this graph is wrong. Why? For a given data point, we can see its complete journey through our pipeline. So for example, we could detect if our ETL was not deduplicating correctly. This allows critical issues to be investigated and resolved as quickly as possible. Ultimately, Maintaining data lineage is essential to understanding the flow of data through a business. The best approach depends on the tooling you employ. If supported, static analysis will yield good results for minimal effort. Otherwise, look into whether your platform offers runtime automated lineage. If neither of these is possible, then data tagging may be the best way forwards. As ever, you'll need to consider the realities of your existing architecture with what you want data lineage to achieve for you.